Well, good morning, everybody. Pastor Brad here, and it is 8 o'clock in the great metropolis of Harlem, Georgia. Here we are again. Hey, let me give you a little bit of information. Right now, 66 degrees uh, here in Harlem, and uh, but we're headed up to what it looks like, 82 today. And uh, so um, definitely, definitely praying uh, for those of you who still don't have your power. Um, I thought we had more who had it, but I noticed a few more than what I realized who still don't have their power back. So you're at the top of my prayer list today that I pray that you get your power back today, if not sooner. And so um, we're praying for you today, but uh, thankfully here on the weather report, uh, no rain or anything like that for those of you who had roof damage and those sorts of things and trying to get tarps up and trees out of your house, and which I think a lot of that's been taken care of. I hope that we're making good progress on that. So thank you for helping us to help you uh, in letting us know uh, your needs. And so we want you to know we love you. We're praying for you. And uh, if you need anything, again, continue to let us know. You can reach out to us anyway. Uh, we all learned how to be very available. And so let us know any kind of need that you have. And uh, I'll give you more information, but we're having church this Sunday. And I want you to be there. And uh, so I've got information here on this post. I hope I get it right. Uh, but out at West, we can't get in the school building. Uh, we're trying to get chairs. and uh, But we're going to be there at 945. We're going to have church in the parking lot at this time. Uh, they had some issues, and so we're going to be in the parking lot this weekend. I would encourage you to bring a chair. We're going to try to have chairs for everybody. That's our plan, but bring chairs with you. And uh, if we have to stand around for a little bit, I promise you I won't preach too, too long, just an hour or so. Just kidding. And uh, But... Uh, we'll have some things for the children, kind of for the young children, I think up through three-year-olds or something like that. Uh, more information down there in, in the post. And then we'll have a fellowship time, and we're going to have a limited amount of supplies and stuff for you to either take if you have a need or to take and give it to somebody who is in need. And so make sure you're aware of that. And then at Martinez, uh, a fellowship time at 10, kind of the same thing. We'll have a limited amount of supplies if you need to take with you, or if you want to take and give it to somebody else who has a need, make sure you do that. We want to be the hands and feet of Jesus uh, during this really challenging time in our community. And then at 11 o'clock at Martinez, we'll have a service. Uh, child care right now planned up through K4. And so kind of like Sunday nights. And so uh, limited uh, things there. But I want you to be there. You're going to need to be there. You say, well, I stink. Come by the CLC today, get a hot shower. And uh, very casual. Don't worry about dressing up in your Sunday go-to-meeting clothes. Uh, just come as you are. We want to gather together. We want to see you. I want to see your face. Paul said that uh, to some folks one time. He said, I long to see your face. And I do. I long to see your face. I want to see you. And so bring your family. Come to worship. And uh, if you would. Hey, hey, by the way, Ryan just jumped on there. Hey, Ryan. Uh, hey, we haven't, I haven't said this in a while. If you could with this post, with this video, like, love it, share it, and maybe that'll get it out. And then we want to get this information out to as many people as we possibly uh, can. Let me give you an encouragement this word this morning, an encouraging word uh, today. And uh, because, again, I get it. Man, this past week or so has been hard. I mean, it has been tough. Uh, for all of our family and friends here in the Augusta area, the 706, the CSRA. Um, Helena didn't just bring storms. It brought a whole lot of heartache, a whole lot of headaches, a whole lot of challenges. We know that, right? And so what I want to do this morning is just take a moment and think about something Paul said. I'll tell you, these words almost seem custom made for us today. Listen to what Paul said. This is 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. He said, we are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We're perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Don't you notice what Paul said there? He said several things here that's important. First of all, he said, hey, we are hard-pressed, but we're not crushed. And maybe this morning you feel like you are under the weight of it all. I want you to remember this morning... Paul felt the exact same way. And I want you to understand, think about this, take this to heart today, an encouragement. We're not being crushed by this. Even though it seems overwhelming, right now, we are not being crushed by this. He said, we're hard-pressed but not crushed. He also said, we're perplexed but not in despair. 
You know, there are going to be those times, like what we're going through right now, nothing seems to make sense at all. That's normal. Paul felt the exact same way. But what Paul didn't do, Paul didn't just give in to despair. And so right now, let me encourage you, cling to hope. Even when things don't add up, I want you to cling to hope. He said, we're hard-pressed but not crushed, perplexed but not in despair. And then he said, we're persecuted but we're not forsaken. And it might have felt like you were absolutely all alone in that storm. And even now, as folks around you begin to get power and have hot showers and, and internet, those sorts of things, it might feel like you are all alone. But I need you to remember this this morning. Don't ever forget this. You're not forsaken. God is right there with you, right there through that storm, right through all the cleanup and all those sorts of things, uh, and all the quiet and all the chaos God is right there with us. And then he also said, hey, we're struck down but not destroyed. We've been hit hard, right? Man, our community has been, I mean, we've been, we got hit with a sucker punch. Uh, we got hit hard, but we're not destroyed. Absolutely, we are not destroyed. And the reason why is, is because our strength comes from something deeper, again, than our physical homes, our stuff. Our strength comes and is rooted in our faith in Jesus Christ. And so maybe this morning you're asking, well, what can we do? Well, number one, kind of like my golf game, keep moving forward, forward progress, right? Keep moving forward. Hey, keep pushing together. Uh, because here's the thing, your story, the story that God is writing with you right now can be used to encourage others, inspire others. Hey, keep moving forward. And then also lean on each other. Let's support one another. Uh, let's share in the work of recovery. Let's help our neighbors, right? Let's be good neighbors. We, I talked about that in the summer, how to be a good neighbor, right? In these moments of need, reach out, share what you have, give your time, give a shoulder, let somebody cry, uh, let them charge their stuff, let them come wash their clothes, let them come over and eat with you, help them get the stuff out of the yard and if you can't offer their house, Lean on each other. Hey, lean on your church family. Hey, guys, we're here for you. Man, we love you. And again, that's one reason why I don't care about the numbers as much as I want to just see you. I want to see your face. And then choose hope over despair. When confusion, when confusion reigns, choose hope. And by the way, it's a choice. And it's absolutely worth it. And then in the middle of all this, talk to God. Because he's right there with you. In the middle of all this mess, he's right there with you. And the great thing about it is, is that you can share your heart with him because he already knows anyway. And so sometimes people will say, well, is, it, is, it, is it wrong to complain to God? Well, why would it be wrong? He already knows what you're feeling anyway. Just tell him. He's your father. You can talk to him, right? Talk to God. Share your heart with him. And so the words that Paul gives us here this morning, man, they're, they're words for today. They're not just words for thousands of years ago. They go, their words for us uh, today. And we're not alone in this. You're not alone in this. We've got each other. We've got each other's back. And even more importantly, we've got God and God has us. And so as I begin to wrap it up, let me just remind you that this isn't just a lesson. It's our life right now. And so let's face this recovery together. Hey, with hope, with help from each other, and with God by our side. Let's not just get through this. Let's go. Let's grow through it. With God as our refuge and with faith as our guide. Let me pray for you this morning. Father, I thank you for every single one who is watching right now. Those who will be watching later through the day. I pray that you'll let this uh, video share, be shared. And so folks get the information, the encouragement that they need. I do pray that right now, those who don't have power, that you will get that restored ASAP just as quickly as possible. <laughs> And that, Father, they can begin to kind of get back to some sort of sense of normalcy. I pray for, Father, those who are able to serve and for us as a church to continue ministering to our church family, reaching our community, to have our hands out to our community. To how, how can we help you? How can we, how can we share in your burden? How can we help meet a need? And so, Father, we thank you for how you did protect us. I, I thank you that even though, though the storm was bad and the effects are devastating, that they're not worse. Father, there are people in the other parts of the country, up in the North Carolinas, that are in way worse shape than we are. And I pray for them this morning. Again, Father, that you will just meet their need and that, Father, you will help them 
uh, to find those folks still alive and to help get them the, the need and help that they, that they need. And so, Father, today, I pray for my church family. I pray tomorrow morning as we gather together, I pray that everything go good. Uh, Father, for those that show up and help set up chairs or help to uh, watch babies or to lead us in worship or to be a smiling face for those who come through our doors or even onto the parking lot, that, Father, you would just be with us tomorrow. Thank you, Father, for this encouraging word today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey, guys, I love you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I want you there. I want you there. 945 out at West. Be sitting in the parking lot. Uh, 11 o'clock at Martinez. Come earlier for the fellowship. Make sure you do that. I think out at West, it's a stay after fellowship, kind of like during Sunday school time. And, uh, and so um, let's be the hands and feet of Jesus uh, even today, guys, if you're able, be an encouragement to somebody. Think about somebody you haven't seen. Give them a call if you're able. If you're able to run by their house, check on them, all right? That's one thing we've been trying to do is uh, create a list and to check in on as many people as we possibly can. And uh, so we love you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. And uh, I'll have a smile on my face because I'll get to see your face. I'll see you tomorrow morning, guys.